Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. I'm the Lady Friend One, and if you cosplay any sort of archers, you're probably wondering how can I make a bow out of EVA foam or warbler and actually have it be stable without a drawstring so you can take it to cons. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a bow for cosplay by showing you how I made my um, bow from the character Arsenal, which was from the TV show Arrow. I'm going to show you how I made the bow for that cosplay. Um, and this will be using a combination of thermoplastics, aka warbler, and EVA foam. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. To start, I made the template for the grip of the arrow. Um, I did like research like actual size for bows, um, specifically to my height. Um, so I would make sure you do that. You want to be able to divide those two strips and then have that grip. So I, I measured out the grip and created a template for that. Then I was out of 10 millimeter foam actually when I set out to do this and I had plenty of six. So instead of doing two 10 millimeter pieces for the grip, I did three six millimeters and I cut those out and then glue them all together in a stack. Once I had that all glued together, I went ahead and started carving it up a little bit um, to get some of the curves going before I sanded it with the Dremel. Um, I just used like a small box cutter just so I wouldn't go overkill on it. Now I'm measuring out strips to make the two curved pieces of the bow. Um, I only need to make one template and I just trace it twice, but I'm measuring that out so it also corresponds with the measurements for a bow that would be like a real one but to my height because I'm really short if you haven't seen me at a convention I'm really short so first thing I do with that template is I am tracing it and cutting out two pieces of four millimeter EVA foam with it then I cut two pieces of warble with that same template now I was very precise with my measurements so I wanted to make sure that the two curved pieces would attach onto the grip with about an inch of it on the grip. So I was measuring and marking that out before I glued it. This is of course after everything has been sanded. And since everything has been sanded, I'm also taking some quick seal adhesive to patch up any seams that were a little rough post sanding. And then once that dried, I went ahead and glued on the two curved foam pieces to the grip with contact cement. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit messy and don't ever feel bad if you have to take something apart and redo things. Let this be a lesson. So next I glued the warbler to my EVA foam with contact cement, which is fine. That was not the issue. It was, I was not ready to do that step yet. I needed to think of a way to really give some sort of structure and skeleton to the foam before I attach the warbler to give it kind of a clean top piece. Um, so that was my mistake. I then had to remove all of the warbler because it wasn't very like structured. It was flopping all over the place when you picked it up. So we removed all the warbler after we glued it on and I had a solution to give this a little bit more structure. So once all the warbler was removed, I literally just took this aluminum wire from Home Depot and took two strands per half of the bow and I punctured through the part of the, the curve that attaches to the grip, I punctured both strands through that and then cut a slit, two slits through the curve and glued that piece of wire to into that slit. So it would go all the way to the top. And then after I had those four pieces of wire in total, I covered the foam pieces with the warbler. I did reuse the same warbler. There is no shame in that. I warbler is expensive. But let this be a lesson. You can make mistakes. You can take things apart and you can put them back together. And don't, don't limit yourself on mediums that you work with. I know like a lot of my tutorials are very foam focused, but like I very rarely stick to foam. I'm literally using aluminum wire from the hardware store here. So don't be afraid to explore other mediums to incorporate into your foam. But anywho, to hide the ugly wires, we are taking that warbler and we are now finally gluing it back on with contact cement. So now that the bow is finally all put back together, I need to take uh, my foam dowels, it's a round one, and I'm cutting two little segments to put onto the parts of the, the curved pieces of the bow that attach to the grip. I need two bolts for that. So I'm cutting those and gluing them on. 
So off camera, I did play a little bit more with the bow shape just to make sure the wires were all shaped accordingly since now everything just bends the way I want it. And I also spray primed it with Plasti Dip. Not because I like Plasti Dip. I can't stress this enough. I don't like Plasti Dip. I hate Plasti Dip. It's just I still had a can left and I wanted it out of my house. So we use Plasti Dip. And then I'm just using a roller brush to paint the grip red and the tips uh, also red with acrylic paint. So now I'm using a sponge brush to paint the black acrylic paint on all the remaining parts of the bow curves. Um, to get any of the fine details like those bolts or screws um, and any little crevices, I do use a brush, like a regular paint brush to finish painting those up. But the paint job is ultimately really easy. It's two colors. It's not a lot of detailing. It's very big sections. Then all I had to do was seal it with a matte seal and you can add elastic cord to string it. I did not so it was con safe, but that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching this cosplay crafting tutorial. Sorry if it was a bit of a mess. Uh, if you want to see what we made actually with the finished cosplay, make sure to check the links in my description and let me know what your crafting questions are in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see what I'm crafting up next. Bye-bye!